Yo, so with double XP starting today for this weekend on MLB The Show 21, I figured now would be as good of a time as ever to give my first XP grinding video, tips video for MLB 21. So I'm going to be going over that method here today for y'all. Going for, I guess, 321 or more likes in the video, maybe 100 or more new subscribers today. Maybe comment down below if you have any other XP earning methods that you'd like down in the comment section. I stream daily except for Saturday, Sunday through Friday on Twitch, Twin Gaming TV on there starting at 10 a.m. Central every day. Link in the description as well as my Twitter and Instagram are also in the description. Double XP actually should be live by the time you guys are seeing this. I record Record my videos typically a day in head, so that's why we're not getting double XP yet for the video. But double XP should be live while you guys are watching this, and I might be live on Twitch right now while you guys are watching this. Twin Gaming TV on there if you want to come say hi. With this method, I found that I can earn around I would say 20 to 30 thousand XP per hour. Usually, if I'm playing well and going fast, it's going to be closer to 30 thousand xp per hour and if you want to download the roster that i'm using for this method you could always make your own but i do have a roster in the vault to get that roster before we go over the tip itself just so it's right at the beginning for y'all you go to the create button in the top right then you go to vaults you want to go to the roster vault okay so we go over to the roster one and then we press the button for search and sort on a playstation it's going to be square on xbox that should be x and then you want to search find and you want to do twin t w i n x p okay search twin x p search for that and you guys can see it right here already it has 14 downloads i literally just uploaded this to the vault so i don't know why it has uh so many download downloads but there it is if you guys want to download it again twin x p t w i n x p all one word as y'all can see right there, that's the roster I'm using. I find that it works really, really well. After you download the roster, you want to go to the right of the create button, go to settings, select that, and then it pops up this menu. When you're here, you want to go to file management, load, then rosters, and then you will see saved rosters. You want to click on that and you will be able to see the twin XP roster. You want to go ahead and make sure you select that so it's loaded. Real quick, I just want to go over my suggested pitching settings for the interface. I would say whatever you're most comfortable with. I think if you're using pure analog or meter or something like that, it's going to make it go a little bit faster because pinpoint, you have to pay a little bit more attention during that. But difficulty, beginner. Beginner difficulty. Make sure you have that set. Everything else is pretty much up to you. But I would make sure you have beginner difficulty because I think you're getting the same amount of XP as you would be on Legend. So beginner difficulty, whatever interface you're comfortable with, whatever view you're comfortable with. So the pitching settings are under gameplay when you're in settings. The other one you want to take a look at is presentation. You want to make sure you have fast play on and then pitch selection cameras none. You don't want the pitch selection cameras on. That's just going to take up extra time. So you want that off as well. And then if you guys really want to, you could turn the batter walk up presentation off uh, you'll see that it doesn't really seem to matter uh, once you guys see me go through this it doesn't really seem like it's taking too long for the batter walk up you can pretty much skip right through it anyways if you're just spamming the x button so you can turn this off if you want to but i don't think it's super necessary so once you have the roster downloaded or your own made what you're going to want to do is go to play now and then exhibition we want to do an exhibition game my favorite team's the Cardinals on the show and in real life, so I just go to the away team. You want the Cardinals as the away team, okay? For this method, you need the Cardinals as the away team. And then for the home team, the team that you're going to be playing as in this video, you want to be the Minnesota Twins. So we have the Cardinals as the away team, Twins as the home team. You guys can see I'm selected on the Twins, just going to do normal jerseys. And it does not matter what stadium you do. I would recommend one that probably doesn't have high elevation in case the hitters get into one and somehow would smack a home run. But for me, for this video, just because I think it looks nice, we're going to go ahead and do the custom created stadium cornfield. But again, it does not matter what stadium you can do. You can do this in an MLB park, minor league, spring training, whatever. It really does not matter. You don't need to be on next gen to do this method. You do not need a created stadium. Okay. You don't. 
You want presentation mode, fast play, and then you want quick counts on. You can change everything else to whatever you want. It's just going to be a nine inning game, all right? But quick counts on, presentation mode, fast play, those are the two settings that you need to pay attention to, and you need these to be fast play and quick counts on. Now, after you have the settings the way you want them, again, I just leave everything the same, quick counts on, fast play. I like playing during the day. It looks a little bit better to me. You want to select that, go in, and then you see Joe Good pitch. You want to toggle player lock. It's going to be R2 on the PlayStation and then I guess the right trigger on an Xbox controller. But you want to toggle the player lock so you see that little icon under lock next to Joe Goodpitch. Select him and then just select the lineups how they are. And then you load into the game. And I'll show you guys once we get into the game how it works. So we're here in the game. You just want to hold, skip through everything. You know, you want it to go as fast as possible probably. And you guys can see we're player locked. Quick counts on. It's going to be 1-2. And you can use any pitching method you want. I'm using pinpoint because that's what I use online. So I want to I want to try to keep getting good at it, keep practicing a little bit. And you just want to do this. You honestly want as many strikeouts as you can because... The strikeouts are what gives you the most XP. Yeah, if you're getting outs, you're still going to be getting XP, but if you are getting strikeouts, that's going to get you the most XP. So the way to maximize this, and you just want to keep pressing X over and over and over, you know, just to make it go as fast as possible, skip through all the in-between inning things. You want to try to get as many strikeouts as you can. If something like this happens, it's not as big of a deal, but you just get a little bit of XP less per a flyout, ground out, whatever it may be, then you are going to be getting during a strikeout and you can go to like a slider change or whatever you want to do i have found that forcing fastballs up and in like this it's always righty be righty facing the same hitters every time i found that the up and in fastballs work pretty well obviously you're seeing some of these like the flyouts i think the most strikeouts i've had i've only done it uh, a handful of times so far right now but i think the most strikeouts i've had is like 24 25 so even throwing only fastballs i am still able to get a lot of strikeouts but if i'm missing my spot a little bit sometimes they're just putting it into play which sucks but then you also have innings where you are hitting your spots and you get a strike out of the side and then you get the max xp per half inning that you can 228 and if you're not getting three strikeouts you're going to see a little bit less than that 228 pop up but i have found that i'm getting around 200 xp per half inning and if i can do well like i have been the last few batters it seems like i'm getting 228 per inning because i'm able to strike out the side so i'm just going to go through and show you guys this whole game so you guys can see how long it's taking me i'm probably not going to cut it up at all and then i'm going to test something that i actually haven't you guys will hear about that in a sec um and I'll, I'll cut that out of the video but show you the end results and normally i would say i'm getting oh i guess between let's say like 1500 and 2000 xp a game it varies a little bit again it really depends on how many hitters you are striking out and then the games are taking me between three and five minutes i would say more on average around four minutes again depends on if there's foul balls if there's fly balls, ground balls, how many are put into play, stuff like that. So it really depends, but I would say this is pretty easily going to take you five minutes or less. You know, between three and five, averaging four, and five is where, you know, you get a lot of the ones like that, which I've had already a few fly this game, so it might be closer to five. We waste a little bit of time talking, maybe not going as fast as we possibly could, but with that being said, it's really quick, and with double XP, right, you're going to be earning a ton, a ton of XP per hour with this method. Even just per few minutes, right? You're going to be earning a ton of XP. Because right now, without double XP, if I just do this over and over, I would say I'm earning easily 20,000, but up to 30,000 XP an hour, maybe even more if I'm efficient enough. So compare that with double XP, and you could be getting 40 to 60,000 XP per hour that's not going to take you that long. That's that's going to be like a day of grinding and you easily, if you're starting from zero, you will easily be able to get just from one day of grinding the bosses and probably even more from the first inning program since it is XP the base this year. So it's going to be a really efficient and good use of your time if you are trying to get XP as fast as possible. And I would say, honestly, as easily as possible. This is not hard to do, right? It's on beginner difficulty. Everyone has zero for all their attributes that's hitting against you. Your pitcher has 99 for every attribute. Out of the stretch, it goes super duper fast. So I say this is a really, really good method. It's an easy method. If you don't want to use pinpoint pitching, I would recommend something else. 
that's going to make it so you can maybe be watching Netflix or Twitch, YouTube videos, whatever it is. You could be doing something else while doing this. And if you're not using Pinpoint, right, you don't have to pay as much attention as you maybe would uh, with another method, right? Pinpoint, you got to pay quite a bit of attention. You got to make sure you're doing everything accurately. But again, for me, it just makes it so I feel like I'm practicing Pinpoint. I know I'm only doing fastballs, but uh, if you want to mix in breaking balls and stuff there too, this could also be a good way to practice your Pinpoint pitching. Try to get a little bit better at it while you're also earning XP because you can't strike them out even using those breaking balls. When you go to the exit post game, it says confirm restart or confirm exit. I'm pretty sure you can confirm restart so you can get multiple XP games going at once, but I'm gonna test that real quick. Okay, so I just went through and did another game just cause I wanted to try the confirm restart. That's something I hadn't tested yet. So we should be seeing between three and 4,000 XP pop up. If that works, you're able to confirm restart and have a track multiple games. So yeah, perfect. We're nearly at 4,000 XP for doing that twice. I don't know if you can just confirm restart over and over and over and over, but if you want to, you're able to confirm restart instead of confirm exit, and it's going to count at least one more time. I would assume there's really no limit, though. Maybe there is. I could be wrong, but I would assume you could just confirm restart as many times as you want, but maybe confirm exit every now and then just to make sure it's going to be tracking every single game for you now just for a little bit of quick math if you are able to do this on average with four minutes obviously that's a pretty fast time but if we're able to do this four minutes per time and earn 2000 xp per time that's going to be 30,000 xp so i feel like you can easily get 20,000 or more xp per hour and if you're doing this as best and efficiently as possible you could even get up to if not more than 30,000 xp per hour without double xp that's 60,000 with double xp on which is going to be this weekend now let's just say you're on the really slow side of things you know you're only earning maybe 1500 xp per time and it's going to take you six minutes per time a little bit slower had a lot of hits or something happen that's still going to be 15,000 xp an hour which is really fast i feel like it's way faster than playing any other game mode home run derby road to the show something in diamond dynasty i feel like this is still going to be extremely fast compared to anything else in the game i hope this video helped you out i hope some of y'all are able to take advantage of this really during double xp weekend but just in general get some xp make sure you're knocking out that first inning program i know with double xp i'm going to be doing this quite a bit maybe for a few hours on saturday and sunday maybe friday as well and just making sure i get that first inning program done and get the bosses so i hope this video helps at least one person out there like comment subscribe social media is all that good stuff again at twinxp in the roster vault if you're trying to find the roster that i'm using and want to use the exact same one as me hope you guys enjoyed it i hope it helps thank you as much for watching i hope you have a fantastic rest of your day i'll see you next time